All right, let's get rock and rolling today. Helen said the fish tank was beeping funny this yeah, weekend. Yeah, she sent me a text. I don't know what's wrong with the the shark wasn't looking good on. Right. Oh no. Oh shit. Sorry, babe. Yeah. I know you like them a lot. My pets. I've had him for a long time. So here's the trick, though. We have to let this not ruin our day. No, I know. Because you know this is I the know. first thing we came into work and saw. I know. And it's a bummer, and it's. You know, it could easily, you know, set, start the day off yeah. wrong, but... I'm sad. I know. I'm sad. I mean, I that's, he's my, he was my boy. I liked him. He was, uh, he was very cool. Onward and upward. Let's a day, a day in the life. Yep. Got to move on. Okay. I've been trying to get him since COVID started over to the aquarium. It is 90 degrees outside. I cannot put him in the trash. Tra <laughs> you can't flush him down the toilet. He's, well, you'll see when I pull him out, he's big. I hate to say this. I don't have to... Put them in a bag and put them in the freezer. I, if I put them in the trash, it, it's going to be, it'll stick up the entire town. Oh man, so many people have enjoyed him in the videos over the years. He's been around for I don't know how many years I've had him for. Gotta be, gotta be about three years. He was a little guy when we got him. Look at all the red marks on him. Ready? Hold on, hold the bag. Uh, oh, he's got sores all over him. Yeah. We didn't have that before. That's too bad. Bye, buddy. It was a good run. We had a good time together. Well, thank God, because of COVID, nobody works in the office. They'd be shocked to see this. Wow. The dead shark in the freezer is a little disgusting, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm a team player. <laughs> did that drip on here? It did. We're gonna have to uh, it and let it air out. Oh, that's nasty. Up full screen. We should probably have read the directions first. <laughs> Oops. Typical man. Use only on water washable upholstery. Do not spray directly on stain. This is not going well for me right now. This is not going well. Spray on clean white towel and use the towel to blot out stain. Dampen a clean white towel with water and blot the area to rinse. So I'm doing the exact opposite of what I'm supposed to do right now, apparently. Hey, it says wine blood blueberry dirt grass and shark smell <laughs> just you don't know, believe me read it <laughs> don't you think that's a common household <laughs> what's the matter with her she, I, i'm mourning and she has to make fun of me with shark smell that's nice so here we are we are at our airbnb we are buying the house next door Amber was loaded with problems all weekend because Dakota was on vacation and so was our project manager. So we have to see what, what condition the house is in because we they said we had they said we had bugs in our house. Yeah, so I get a I get a text, I think it's like at 1030 Friday night, and it's a group of kids that's up from New York City and you know they had good reviews, so I went ahead and approved them and everything. Um, we use that to kind of filter people out. There's been a lot of people wanting to come to our houses and like throw big parties. So, you know, if somebody's local or they don't have any good reviews, we just deny those reservations. But this group seemed okay. She had good reviews. So um, she gets here and, and 1030 Friday night sends me a text. There's a roach in the refrigerator. And like that mortifies me like, oh my gosh, there's roaches in the house. Like I'm freaking out. And we have the house clean between every, yeah, every yes, like, like extensively cleaned. So, you know, extra, extra protocols right now with COVID going on and everything. So I'm like freaking out. Oh my gosh, there's a roach in the house. And so not only was it in the house, it was in the refrigerator. She sent me a picture of it. I, and I said, you know, as far as the bug goes, you know, it's possible that someone, you, you know, maybe brought it in their luggage unknowingly and the bug was just a hitchhiker, <laughs> but we don't, we don't have bug problems at the house. And so she said, well, the refrigerator's not working. The freezer's only as cold as the fridge and the fridge isn't keeping the, the food cool at all. And we had to throw out all our groceries. And so, you know, I'm like trying to, it, there's a balance there between like letting someone walk all over you and also trying to get a good review because this is a newer Airbnb and we want to make sure that we have good reviews so that we get more people that want to stay here. So um, I said, okay, I'll have somebody come look at the refrigerator tomorrow. So I get an, uh, another email on the app the next morning saying, there was a huge bug flying in the house. I tripped over the stairs in the middle of the night trying to escape it. It looked like a bee was in the window. And so, you know, I wrote her back a, a message that said, you know, you are in upstate. You can look around and see all the trees and everything. There, there, you know, there's bugs around here in the summer and spring and fall. So I'm curious as to how they left the house. So let, let's go in and take a look at that. 
I don't look too bad in here. Well, the cleaners were already here, so. Uh, <laughs> you could have told me that. <laughs> the contractor that came here to check out the refrigerator, which the refrigerator was not broken, by the way. He yeah. said it was jam-packed with alcohol and beer. He said it's just they can't keep the beer cold enough to faster than they want to drink it. Yeah. So we pay contractors, you know, to keep these people happy. We pay contractors to come over here and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So that's just money out of our pocket. And we bought them hot wings the next night. So we sent them a hundred bucks to order their, you know, hot wings and stuff. So that, like, like I said, there's that fine line between, you know, letting people walk on you and then trying to get a good review. I'm hoping she just doesn't leave a review at all. That's what Cause she was do. nasty in my messages to her, even though I was like as friendly as I could possibly be with my responses without wanting to like, you know, reach my hand through the screen and bitch slap her. <laughs> that's the other side of me, that's not so pretty. Um, all right, so the other issue is that um, the upstairs gets hot, we heard. So this house didn't, it, we, it was a brand new renovation and we were gonna flip it originally. Um, so we did not put AC in, but then when we turned it into an Airbnb, we have to have the AC. So that was like an afterthought and we hear the upstairs gets really hot. So let's go see. It feels comfortable down here. So yeah, it does, it uh, definitely does feel warmer up here. It's not unbearable, but it's definitely warmer. I did pick up fans, a couple little fans for both of these upstairs bedrooms while you were gone. That's normally something Dakota would do. I would just send them to the store to get that kind of stuff. Do we have another tree on the fence? That one that's coming over is the neighbors, I believe. So the, the stump that's there was the other tree that the week before <laughs> fell on the neighbor's fence and their picnic table and some sort of tent they had back there. So we're having to replace that whole fence this week or next week. Um, but I'm seeing another branch down. We're gonna have to go in the backyard and look at that now. That's new too. That actually might be ah, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go down in the backyard and check this out. This is new information. Look at this. Nice. A little peach vodka. So here's what we're figuring out. We're in the backyard two weeks ago we had a problem where this tree blew over and destroyed the neighbor's fence. We had to have negotiations with the neighbors to get that fixed. If you're dealing with a downed tree, the insurance company, it doesn't matter whose tree fell, it's whoever had damage on their property, that insurance claim kicks in. So in this case, technically speaking, it's their fence. Even though it was our tree. Correct, right. correct. It doesn't matter, it's called an act of God. So technically speaking, even though our tree fell on their property, it's their responsibility to fix their fence, okay? But their deductible, so we said to them, as a good neighbor, we'll pick up your deductible, thinking it was like 250 or 500 bucks. And they said, no, our deductible is $2,500. And they were having a hissy fit, and so we decided to be a good neighbor, and we decided to fix the fence ourselves, right? No, we're not fixing it. We're replacing the whole fence with a nice vinyl white fence. But it'll be our fence. It'll be our fence. So and, and, it, and it provides more privacy for the Airbnb. This is the house that we own. That's the Airbnb that we just left. Here's the house we close on tomorrow. And this storm took down two trees. There's one over there on the garage. And we have a monster here that's laying over in the neighbor's house, apparently. Hi, yay, yay. So let's go next door. We can see it from here, but let's go from a different angle and take a look at it. Hi, yay, yay. Okay. So clearly, this got blown over. Did it damage the garage? And what happens is people just start throwing their garbage. Like there's a chair in there. That chair wasn't there before. So people see stuff like this and they're like, oh yeah, let me just, you know, dump myself there. We have to have them fix it or get a credit. The problem is if we have them fix it, it's gonna take HUD forever to fix this. And meanwhile, we're paying interest on the money. Look at the size of that bad boy. Yeah. That, that's... And then when that comes out, that's gonna leave a huge hole in the yard that we have to fill back in. Here's one of the problems I see. This is leading towards the neighbor's house. If we buy this house and close this house tomorrow, we accept liability and responsibility immediately, even though it happened when we didn't own the house. So there's a problem we gotta figure out big time. If they say to us, we'll give you a credit, that's all fine and dandy, but if something happens during us taking this down, like this tree falls through and hits their house, that becomes our problem. <sighs> so we have some challenges, but we'll do a final walk through the house to make sure nothing else happened inside the house during the storm and, and go from there. So this is the, this got blown so, in during. Yeah, the, the problem, yeah, see? They come right out. Okay. The, the problem is the little gray brackets right there, are they're plastic and they completely busted. So the one, the one in the bedroom is completely out. 
Yeah, here's another one. It's completely just on the ground. It just blew right out because those brackets are just so the storm. The storm just blew it right out. Right. So look, we There's could. There's been some pretty severe wind right here. <laughs> so we could fight for a couple hundred dollar credit, but what good's it going to do us? Yeah. We, I mean, we're going to replace them anyways, right? Because right? we we're going to keep these originally, but now they're kind of garbage, right? They are let's garbage. try. I want to make sure that we don't have any rain come in here or whatever. So let's see if we can't. All right. Let's get outside and discuss these things. Oof. Okay, so what a day we've had. So welcome to the day in the life of Glenn and Amber. Because, Never a dull moment. <laughs> because we, we drove to work thinking, let's have a nice day today. And we drove in and my shark died. And then of course, Amber liked to mock the cleaning process we have. But anyways, we got through that. And then we had to deal with the Airbnb that happened this weekend and found out that they didn't leave it in good shape and we're trying to keep a good review there. That's challenging. And then we had to come right next door, literally right next door to the house we're supposed to close tomorrow and now we have to negotiate all these trees being down and how we're gonna handle that with HUD and the liability and everything else going on there, plus fences in the back. So every day is something different. We have a great team put together. We have a big week this week as we're restructuring our company this week. We're doing a lot of things with Signature with our flipping company and we have a lot going on, so. But you know, when we first started, do you remember like something like this would happen and we would just like totally freak out and it would stress us out. And, you yeah. know, not that these events aren't stressful, but I think we've learned to like take it more in stride now and, yeah, and just know that, you know. It is what it is. It, we're, it, it's, it's putting out fires every day and yep. we'll get them put out. Yep, it's a day in the life. Yep. Now we own the Airbnb across the street from us and uh, there were supposed to be four guests and I think there were like maybe 50 or 60 or 70, the cops think. They're um, <laughs> kicking the people out as we speak. You know, there's like pot wafting over and they're doing blow tests on everybody that's driving. So yeah, this this tops off our tops off our Monday adventures. <laughs> we get a knock on our door literally at midnight, about 12, 15 at night, we get a knock on our door. So it's 1.38 in the morning. The police just left uh, across the street. We have the Airbnb and we did not know it. It was across the street from our house because they parked all around the street and they quietly walked in. Yeah, they put it on social media. So they put this party on social media and oh my God, this is crazy. So what a day we've had. Man, have we had an educational Monday. Welcome to a day in the life. They're not all this crazy, but man, this one was crazy. Good night.